Yeah, I am being stupid. The, the, there was a switch right there, you stupid idiot. Oh well, that was embarrassing. Pretty sure the crank goes in here. Oh god, it's so... Uh, moving all these things around. It just doesn't work with a mouse. It's so much easier to use the bloody finger. Uh, this puzzle is quite easy. It's obviously... It's numbers equals letters. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, you know. Um, I think it goes like that for A. Um... B goes there. C is there. D, E, and F. Yeah. See, I remember some things. The weirdest things. Oh. So we need to turn these. Oh, first of all, don't forget this. I don't know what that did. That was weird. It's a empty flask. As you can see, there's something down here, which is slidey. Um, oh, that was simple. There we go. Uh, another simple puzzle. Uh, we start. I don't think this... There you go. It's sort of cheaty. So, this obviously goes to here. I think you have to lock them into these weird circle shapes. Like that. One goes down the bottom. A cylinder of rings. I think, um, I don't think I can use this just yet. I think that's for the. Can I use this yet? I don't think I can. Hmm. I think that's another one for this here. It's, um, what do we have left? It's a square, isn't it? Yeah, there's a there's a square right here. I can't remember. Some of these are very finicky when it comes to opening them. And some of them require other things. I mean, it does have a plus next to it, meaning that it must have something to go with it. So, uh, I'll just uh, forget it for now. I'll probably find it around here, because this is what this goes into. This puzzle is quite um, odd. Um, obviously... The colours go into the colours, so reds to reds, blues to blues, and greens to greens, and they're supposed to be yellow, I think. So it's like uh, this. We'll do the red first because it's the easy one, and then we'll do uh -uh. I don't know. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> I guess. Brilliant. I do love when you fumble around and you actually finish something correctly for a change. The flask goes in here. Um, can I? There we go. Hmm. Suspicious. What was in here? 
Oh, good lord, I can't even read that. Esteemed master, with great concern we've learned that you are devoting yourself to other less beneficial research. We must therefore command you. You are ordered to seize those activities unconditionally, else provide us with satisfactory explanation. Otherwise, you will only bring upon yourself our severe in indignation. I that was quite difficult to read. Stop zooming out every time you open a fucking drawer. You like? You just make this much easier, much easier if you if you didn't do that. Right. As you can see, this is something we can move around. I can use that in a second. This weird key thing goes on top of here, like so, and then we have to use the time to see what the actual um, position of the, the three leaf things is. So it needs to be like that. So it's that, that, and that. Genio. There. We can pump shit out of it. Can I, can I pump? See, that's why we need the lighter again, because we need it for the boiler. And put this in here. Oh, brilliant. That's what we needed. So this then goes into this. Like that. Um, we can do this. In fact, we'll do that in a minute. The other key thing, this weird plunger goes in the top of this dude's head. As you can see, he has a specific pattern. This one's gold, and the rest of them are like silver. So the gold one's here. So if we're looking at it from top, it will be one to the left. Oh, no, one to the say to the left. And then one to the right and then bottom. It's <laughs> it's so finicky. That might not be right. Oh, it was. <laughs> Bloody thing. We need to move this face out of the way. I think there's a pattern on this. Yeah. And there's a weird key. The special key. So this can jam into his leg. That's where I keep all my... Uh... Oh, can I not take that back? Oh. Weird. Some kind of weird... Tripod? Wheels of wheels. The tripod goes in front of the fire. As you can see from these little dots, this goes here. Now, you don't know what to do with that just yet because I've kind of gone a bit too far. So, what we need to do is use this to open up the last of the cage. I remember this, um, this next type of puzzle that took me ages to do because I always forget certain things on it like this there's like certain um hidden switches and stuff that you can miss and oh that's going on means that I need to get that quickly there we go yeah this roof <laughs> I I'm I always forget where it goes as you can see, the light from the uh, from the fire is pointing like 
like here. This is the correct position for it to be in. Um, there's a lot of things here. There's, there's something that needs to go like that. That's one thing I always forget. Um, there's nothing we can do with this just yet, so we'll leave that be. One of these moves, I know it does. Um, yeah, that is what I always forget. That, that stupid, stupid thing right there. And the, the, there is no indication on uh, on this either that is something you can move. It's just, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can tell I did this recently. Within at least a month. Or, uh, yeah, about a month ago. So it's, it's slightly fresh in my head. Uh, we are going... This way. This way. Mm, no. Right. Oh. It's got some weird thing here we can't get to. So solution is here. I like these puzzles. These these, these are pretty fun. Um like this can be um quite difficult some I've played some games where they're just like stupidly hard. You know, and, and they feel like they're made hard just for the sake of being hard. But this one is uh, is quite simple. See? Easy. How come they all can't be like that? So we've got some kind of scepter-like object. So we can... I think we can move this up. Yeah. And move them down. Lenders on a long shaft. Let's go weird um sort of like fork on it don't forget to do that this is another switch behind it noise so this is what the roof goes on top of and now we have a screw which goes into here Oh, yeah, everything's coming into... It's all coming into place. Oh, it fits so well. So this goes in here. Yoink. Pull that down. And then we have to, like, do this. Oh, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. So I don't think there's a solution for this anywhere on this model. There might be. I mean, not that I know of it, I think. You just have to press them in an order. Uh, it's that one, that one. Slightly easy. Sequence puzzles are normally the easy ones. As you can see, there's like something here which we can open. Can I? Can, are you not going to let me open you? You're not, are you? You're going to be like that. There you go. Thank you. That's uh, suspicious. Pretty sure there's something else we need to do in here. Let's push that down. There you go. Strange lock. And another note. Architecture. For some it's just a construction of stone, lime and mortar. For me, an organism similar to those to all living things. I've created an ideal city for Ludovico Strotz. Is that Str um, Strotzer? She was a. Uh, I remember. Every time I play this, I just think of um, Assassin's Creed 2. 
because um, Svotsa was the bird from um, from Romagna who you have relations with. Sexy, sexy relations. But yeah, um, as well as remarkable bridge design that will spam the mouth of the boss Porus in Constantinople and connect Europe with Asia. I have searched through the architecture of Florence in search of a place to safely conceal my greatest work, the Badia Florentina. That tower has proven ideal. The Badia Florentina. I think that was the tower where we saw that dude flying off the um, at the start of the game in the flying machine. So we've got some. There's only one thing to do now. We've done our, we've done everything here. Funny enough, this doesn't um, this doesn't go away, which uh, it doesn't help. But uh, what we need to do is we need to do this here. So this specific key. Um, goes in, uh, yeah, it goes in here. Plunk. And I think everything has to join up. Um, red, there we go. Winged it. Then the handle goes in here. Oh, what's quite funny is with all this, just to open a door, we could probably just open anyway. When you realise how this door opens. So yeah, to open this, this, all this, all this puzzle is just to get this ball to land in this one basket to open this door. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It's so elaborate. Imagine if this is the way to get into your house. Do you like 900 puzzles just to open your front door? So look, all it does is pull that basket. We could have easily reached through that fucking piece of wood and pulled it down ourselves. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. So it's so it's, it's so elaborate that it's just hilarious. So Master Da Vinci is being pursued. He must pa he must have passed through this room. But where did he head? Uh, where did he head from here? Well, so as there's only one exit, normally the roof. Yeah, this puzzle the the puzzles in this room are quite uh they get they get a lot harder now. Um, this stuff here is it's not difficult. It's just more like. But see, the only puzzle that's very that's, I remotely hard is this one on this table, and um, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. But yeah, let's uh, we'll continue. 